Good morning, dear children. I hope you are all safe and sound. In today's session, we will do the evaluation of class 5, unit 4, atmosphere. Let us learn. Come. Roman number 1. Choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answer. First one. The atmosphere is divided into dash layers. The atmosphere is divided into dash layers. Options are A, 4, B, 5, C, 6, D, 7. Can you tell me children? Very correct. It is divided into 5 layers. The answer is option B, 5. They are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Moving to question number 2. The earth receives heat energy from the dash. The earth receives the heat energy from dash. The options are A. Moon B. Mars C. Sun D. Venus What's the answer? Everyone knows it, right? We, the earth receives the heat energy from the sun. Option is C. Sun Moving to question number 3. World Meteorological Day is dash. World Meteorological Day is dash. Options are March 20, March 2, March 22, March 23. What is the answer? When is the Meteorological Day celebrated? Yes, that is right. It is celebrated on March 23. World Meteorological Day is celebrated on March 23. Moving to question number 4. The study of weather is called DASH. The study of weather is called DASH. Options are Meteorology, Option B Ecology, Option C Archaeology, Option D Sociology. And the study of weather is called Meteorology. Option A. The study of weather is called meteorology. Moving to question number 5. Zone located in between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn is dash zone. The zone located in between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn is dash zone. Options are option A temperate, option B subtropical, option C cold, option D torrid. The answer is answer is torrid zone. Option D torrid zone. The zone between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn is the torrid zone. Moving to question number six. Dash is used to measure pressure in the air. Dash is used to measure the pressure in the air. Options are A. Barometer B. Thermometer C. Anemometer and D. Wind vane The options are Barometer, Thermometer, Anemometer and Wind vane. The correct answer is Barometer. Barometer is used to measure the pressure in the air. Question number 7. Monsoon is derived from the dash word. Monsoon is derived from the dash word. Options are A. Greek, B. Arabian, C. English and D. Latin. The answer is right. It is derived from the Arabic word mausim. The option is B. Arabian. Monsoon is derived from the Arabian word, mausim. Moving to question number 8. Vertical cloud is called dash. Vertical cloud is called dash. Options are A. Cirrus, Stratus, Cumulus, Nimbus. Which are called vertical clouds? Correct. It is Nimbus. 
Vertical clouds is called nimbus. Question number 9. Dash clouds give convectional rainfall. Dash clouds give convectional rainfall. Options are A. Cirrus. Option B. Stratus. Option C. Cumulus. Option D. Nimbus. Which cloud gives convectional rainfall? Yes, it is a cumulus cloud. Cumulus clouds give convectional rainfall. Question number 10. Statement 1 and statement 2 are given. You have to write the option. Statement 1. The instrument used to measure the wind direction is wind vane. The instrument that is used to measure the direction of the wind is wind vane. Statement 2. Light travels faster than sound. Light travels faster than sound. Options are Option A. Statement 1 is true. 2 is false. Option B. Statement 1 and 2 are true. Statement C. Statement 1, 2 are false. Statement 1 is false. 2 is true. The answer is statement 1 and 2 are true. The instrument used to measure the wind direction is a wind vane and light travels faster than sound. Moving to Roman number 2, fill in the blanks. The instrument used to measure heat is dash. The instrument used to measure heat is dash. Can you tell me the answer? Yes, when you are falling sick, when there is a rise in temperature, it is measured by using a thermometer. Okay, that is right. Thermometer. T-H-E-R-M-O-M-E-T-E-R. Thermometer. T-H-E-R-M-O-M-E-T-E-R. Thermometer. There is also another instrument called as a calorimeter. Calorimeter. To Measure the temperature of a body. Answer is calorimeter. C A L O R I M E T E R. Calorimeter. Question number two. The imaginary lines drawn parallel to the surface of the earth is dash. The imaginary line drawn parallel to the surface of the earth is dash the answer is correct it is latitude latitude l a t i t u d e s latitudes the imaginary line drawn parallel to the surface of the earth is called as latitude question number 3 sea breeze blows from dash in the evening sea breeze blows from dash in the evenings the answer is correct it blows from sea to land sea breeze blow from sea to land question number four dash are rain clouds dash are rain clouds which are rain clouds children correct it is nimbus N I M B U S Nimbus. Nimbus are rain clouds. Now let us move to match the four. First, then we will see the answer. Question number one: Cirrus clouds, gray sheet. Number two: Stratus clouds, storm cloud. Number three: Cumulus clouds. Do not give rain. Option 4. Nimbus clouds looks like puffy white cotton. The answers are Cirrus clouds do not give rain. Cirrus clouds do not give rain. Stratus clouds gray sheet. Stratus clouds gray sheet. Cumulus clouds looks like puffy white cotton. Cumulus clouds looks like puffy white cotton. Nimbus clouds are storm clouds. Nimbus clouds, storm cloud. Moving to Roman number 4. State true or false.
question number one all weather changes occur in the troposphere all weather changes occur in the troposphere answer is true question number two latitudes and longitudes help us to locate a country latitudes and longitudes help us to locate a country answer is true question number three atmosphere gets heated by conduction than solar radiation the atmosphere gets heated by conduction than solar radiation answer is true question number four the main reason for the change of wind direction is earth rotation the main reason for the change of wind direction is earth's rotation the answer is true question number five cyclone moves in anti-clockwise direction cyclones move in anti-clockwise direction the answer is false cyclones change their position and direction with time it changes its direction time to time moving to roman number five answer the following question number one what is climate what is climate the answer is climate is the average weather condition of a vast area over more than 30 years i repeat climate is the weather condition average weather condition of a vast area over more than 30 years question number two name the atmospheric layers name the atmospheric layers tell them exosphere thermosphere mesosphere stratosphere and troposphere exo thermo meso strato and tropo question number three write a short note on nimbus clouds write a short note on nimbus clouds it is called vertical cloud or rain cloud nimbus clouds are called vertical cloud or rain cloud nimbus cloud appear as dark or gray in color they appear as dark or gray in color it gives heavy rainfall nimbus clouds give heavy rainfall the answer is it is called as vertical or rain clouds it appears as dark or gray in color it gives heavy rainfall moving to question number four write a short note on orographic rainfall write a short note on orographic rainfall answer is when the moisture laden wind from the sea rises as it moves over a mountain range it becomes cool and causes heavy rainfall when the moisture laden wind from the sea rises as it moves over a mountain range it becomes cool and causes heavy rainfall the opposite side of mountain is called the leaf side opposite side of mountain is called as a leeward side it receives very little rainfall moving to question number six answer in detail question number one write about jet streams write about jet streams the answer is air currents in the upper layers of atmosphere is known as jet streams air currents in the upper layer of atmosphere is called as jet streams it could determine the arrival and departure of monsoon winds in india it could determine the arrival and departure of the monsoon winds in india and in the picture you can see the jet stream moving from warmer air to colder air 
Question number two. Explain the types of winds. Explain the types of winds. Wind. The air which moves horizontally from high pressure area to low pressure area is called wind. The air which moves horizontally from high pressure area to low pressure area is called wind. Different types of winds are planetary wind, monsoon wind, sea breeze, land breeze, local wind, jet stream and cyclone. Types of wind are planetary, monsoon, sea breeze, land breeze, local wind, jet stream and cyclones. The wind blows in the same direction throughout the year are called as planetary winds. Planetary winds blow in the same direction throughout the year. Monsoon wind is a non-seasonal wind. In India, we have southwest monsoon and northeast monsoon wind. Sea breeze blows from sea to land in the evening. Land breeze blows from land to sea in the mornings. Local winds affect the weather. We have warm local wind in northwest India called as loo. We have cool local wind in the northeast India, example Norwesters. Jet streams are air currents in the upper layer of atmosphere. It determines the arrival and departure of monsoon winds in India. Cyclones or hurricane changes its position and direction with time to time. The speed of wind also changes with time. And it causes heavy rainfalls. Cyclones change its position and direction with time. The speed of wind also changes with time and it gives heavy rainfall. That's all for today's session my dear children. Learn the questions thoroughly and copy the classwork from the snaps I am sending in the WhatsApp. Get ready for a test that is coming up. Thank you for watching. Take care. Stay blessed.